Let's find out if a science teacher can draw. Everyone, I'm Mr. Slacker, a high school science teacher, and I post new videos every Friday, so keep an eye out for those. So I was looking through some of my old artworks, and I kind of wanted to share some of my favorites with you today. The first one I'm going to be showing you is the one I did of Ben 10. I've watched the original Ben 10, I've watched Alien Force, I've watched Ultimate Alien, I've watched Omniverse. I'm not a big fan of the newest Ben 10, but going back and watching the originals, I'm a big fan of Ben 10. The aliens that I decided to actually display in my Ben 10 is going kind of off the Omniverse vibe. Looking at the drawing, I included a version of Heat Blast, I included Grey Matter, I included Grab Attack, I included Alien X, I included Ditto, and I did a version of Ultimate Clockwork, and a version of Topic down in that right hand corner there. Now I'm actually a fan of this drawing because it was when I first started to do a little bit of shading here and there in my drawings just to add a little bit of dimension, which I'm really happy with how it turned out on Ben 10 and some of the other aliens. The next drawing that we have here is a drawing of Mario Kart. Now I included four different characters in this drawing just because me and my family loved to play Mario Kart when we were younger. We played a lot on the GameCube. We played Mario Kart Double Dash. The character that I would play most often was Baby Mario. My sister would play Baby Peach. My dad would play Luigi. And as you can see on the back of the course itself, there's the bullet, which is by Bob just because this is Rainbow Road. She ended up falling off quite a bit on this course, so I thought it would be funny for a Christmas present just to draw it in as the bullet, just coursing along trying to catch up with everyone else. Now, the next drawing that I actually have here is the version of Goku in the Tournament of Power. At this time, I only saw the partial transformation into Ultra Instinct, and I kind of want to do my own take on what Ultra Instinct might look like in its final form. This is the version of Mastered Ultra Instinct that I came up with before it was actually aired on the TV show. Now, I'm really happy with this drawing and how it just shows the power coming off of Goku and the details that I was able to actually put into this drawing. Now, the last drawing I did is probably my favorite just because of the way I built the concept around the idea of the Naruto universe and the Pokemon universe. So I thought it would be a really cool design to incorporate the Naruto's Sage of Six Path power, where they have those black orbs around the top of the character and then incorporating that instead with Pokeballs, so the six Pokemon that you take into battle, and I thought it would be really cool if I put these two designs together, see what I came up with. So in this drawing, I have five specific Pokemon that I picked out. They're some of my favorites, and they fit the overall theme of the drawing where they had an evolution state, so I could do something along the lines of giving them a outfit of their evolution form and using them as one of their pre-evolutions and putting them together in those cool Pinterest designs. The first Pokemon that I picked out is Squirtle, just because I usually pick Squirtle going into the Pokemon games when I played it as a kid. Then I have Teddy Ursa, I have Ryobu, and he's holding out a Aura Sphere, which is kind of playing off of the Rasengan in Naruto and kind of blowing out the wall to the side there, which I thought was a super cool idea. Then we have Chimchar, one of my favorite fire Pokemon. The last of the Pokemon we have is Pancham, one of the newer released Pokemon in the series. The last Pokemon that I have was going to be Ninetales, but since I was combining Naruto and Pokemon, I thought instead of using the Pokemon version of Ninetales, I instead used the one in the Naruto series, so Kurama, and I thought that was an interesting play back and forth once again with the combination of Naruto and Pokemon. Now, I didn't want to forget Sasuke, as he does a lot of cool combinations with Naruto, Kurama, and his Susano. so I incorporated the back wall as the purple armor of Sasuke's Susano. And on the other wall, I have Sasuke's Sharingan. The one thing that I wish I would have focused on a little bit more would be the shadows that I added on into the characters, just because they're a little bit sloppy and I wish I spent more time focusing on the placement, focusing on all the shadows, just to add that extra depth for this design. Overall though, I am super happy with how this design turned out and it's still one of my favorites and I have it hung up in the apartment. If you've made it to this point in the video, please practice your writing skills down in the comments and let me know which of the designs was your favorite design. And as always, stay curious everyone.